Open the carton carefully and try not to damage it. Take out the foam. Take the bicycle out of the carton carefully by holding the seat tube and handlebar. You can find the toolbox at the bottom of the carton. Put it aside for later use. Remove the straps and the foam packaging from the bike. Rotate the handlebar anti-clockwise. Flip the bicycle 180 degrees and place it on leveled ground. Ensure that the bicycle does not fall. Take out the front fender and attach it to the front fork. Loosely tighten the three M5 bolts to the front fork in the order A, B and C using hex key number 4. Then, firmly tighten each bolt in the order of A, B and C until all bolts are secured. Hold on to the middle part of the axle tightly with one hand and loosen the axle nut on any side anti-clockwise with a socket spanner. Remove the axle nut, washer and axle and set them aside for later use. Remove the plastic guard that protects the brake disc. Put the front wheel into the front fork. Make sure the brake disc is aligned with the brake pad. Install the axle on the front fork. Place the washer and nut you removed before in sequence. Tighten up the nut on the outside clockwise using the socket spanner. Cover the dropout cover on both sides. Now you can flip the bicycle 180 degrees and put down the kickstand. Find the screw under the right brake lever. Use hex key number 5 to loosen the bolt anti-clockwise. Once the bolt is adequately loosened, adjust the brake lever to an appropriate and comfortable position. Tighten the screw clockwise. Take the right pedal with the label R. Screw it clockwise into the crank by hand. Use hex key number 6 to tighten it. Take the left pedal with the label L and then screw it anti-clockwise into the crank. Use hex key number 6 to tighten it. Use hex key number 5 to loosen the clamp bolt anti-clockwise until the saddle can be moved with little force. Lift the saddle upward to an appropriate height. Tighten the bolt clockwise with hex key number 5. When you see the minimum insertion warning mark, the saddle has been raised to its highest position. Gently open the rubber cover and insert the charger plug into the charging port. It takes about four hours to complete charging. Unplug your charger and put the rubber cover back on when your bike is fully charged. Before using your Honbike, we recommend to register it via the Honbike app. You can scan the QR code on the second page of the owner's manual or go to Apple Store or Google Play Store to download the app. Open the Honbike app. Press register to create your Honbike account. Select your region and enter your email address. Enter the verification code we sent to the email address and then set your password. Once you have successfully created your account, log in with your account. Now you can register your Honbike by pressing Owner Registration. Scan the frame number and validation code on the back of your owner's manual. Press and hold the power button on your Honbike until the display is on. Your Honbike will be connected to the app automatically. It usually takes three to eight seconds, depending on the connectivity. When the Bluetooth and the lock icon on your app light up, you have successfully connected your Honbike to the app. The Honbike's electric system can be locked by tapping the lock icon on the Honbike app or by pressing the power and minus buttons simultaneously on the bike for five seconds. And it can be unlocked only by the Honbike app 